Hi, my name is Chucky, and today I will be chatting with Met Superstar Pete Alonzo while unboxing some of Coach Fly's Smalls mystery figures. Smalls are mystery minifigures of your favorite MLB players. Each ball comes with a different player, a few accessories, and stickers. The fun part is, you never know who you're going to get. You can even use a container as a stand for display. Now, let's go talk with me. I'm so pumped right now. I'm here with the 2019 Rookie of the Year, the reigning home run derby champ, and Mets superstar, polar bear himself, Pete Alonzo. Thank you for being with us. Oh, of course. I'm excited to be here. Before I unbox the smells, I'd like to ask you a few questions if that's okay with you. Absolutely. How hard is it to hit on one in MLB? I think hitting a baseball is one of the hardest jobs in the world. It doesn't matter if I'm hitting a sponge, a lacrosse ball, a golf ball, or a baseball. It's, it's going to go really far if I get it. <laughs> I see that. The Mets are currently in first place in the NL East. How badly do you want to ring? Oh man, that's the uh, that's the ultimate is to win a championship. So we're in a really good spot right now, and I think that if we keep playing, keep playing hard, and keep uh, sticking together as a team, I think that we're going to find ourselves in a, in a position to win a ring in, in October. Yeah, I also hope you win a ring. Not to brag, I just won my Little League World Series. I love yeah. that. It's the trophy chat Nice. Sideways. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks. Pete, mm -hmm. all the fans want to know, is this the Mets? I think it is. I think it is. I trust you. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the unboxing, shall we? Let's do it. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got first. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, who's this? Oh. Javier oh, Baez. Oh, Mago. Do you talk trash to anybody when they're on first base? Oh, every once in a while. If I know them all enough, I'll talk trash. Like, what would you say about that? I, I, I kind of want to respectfully decline to answer your question. Well, you got, they got the eyebrow and his little chin, and his little chin piece correct, too. That's, yeah. So, here, I'll let you, I'll let you do that. <laughs> There we go, we got El Mago. I'll tell you what, he's got some serious ability at the dish, uh, in the box. I mean, he's a very informable uh, offensive player, but I'll tell you what, this guy, he takes away a lot of hits. There's a reason why he's in the Gold Glover, so he takes away so many hits. I mean, I respect him as an offensive player, but there's, you know what El Mago means? No. So, that's a Spanish word for the magician. Kershaw. He plays the Kershaw. So, is he really unstoppable? I I faced him before, and I, I I saw him I saw him really well when when I when I played against him. So I I have nothing but respect for him. He's he's a great pitcher with the outstanding resume. Mike Trout. What makes him so good? He doesn't swing at anything out of the zone. He's ridiculously athletic, which um, helps him helps him out defensively in the outfield, and. I mean, he's just, he's just a stud. Do you think he's the goat right now? No, that's Jake DeGrom. Yeah. That's Jake DeGrom. Best picture. Yes. Ooh, Christian Yelich. Do you know him by any chance or like, have been talking? Have yeah, been? so I, I played, so in 2019, I had, um, I had a great opportunity to, to play with him in the All-Star game. And I'll tell you what, when he was on that tear, it was, he was a scary man when he stepped up to the dish. Playing against him, I mean, he's a, I mean, he's a, he's a bad dude. He's a bad dude. He's a guy that you don't look forward to, to facing. Oh, oh my there's God, me. Favorite player. Oh, there's me. You're my favorite player. I think I can do a good imitation of you. Let's see it. Let's see. It. Yep, there it is. Oh. Oh, I love that. That's what awesome. Was your <laughs> no, you nailed it, especially with that the pre pitch, the pre pitch point of contact stuff. Yeah. I love that. Do you think all those things gonna be in soft season? We want you to be in that for life. Well, can you can you ask him for me? I don't know. If I ever meet him then I'll I'll tell him. Okay, thank you. Because that that would if you were to tell him that that would be much appreciated. Um but we'll we'll see. I mean, I I I love playing for I love playing for the Mets. I mean, this is New York, and um, and the Mets are a really special place uh, in my heart. But um, 
regarding if, if he's going to make me a bet for life. It's his money, so I, I I'm not right. If it was my choice, I would write myself a check, but I'm not in control of his checkbook. <laughs> You should write a bet. So I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Mookie. Mookie bets. All right. An all round player. Absolutely. What do you think he's better at, batting or fielding? That's an impossible question to answer. So I, that's a very, very good question. I mean, he's a he's a stud defensively with the glove, but um, I mean, how how he goes into the box and, and how how his presence affects the game. I mean, it's, it's really special. And if you ever hit it his way, make sure it's over the wall. Oh, absolutely, have to, because if it's if it's hit his way, not not over the wall, he's catching it, for sure. He'll, he'll take the hit away. That's that's what he's really, really good at. Oh, oh Aaron Judge. Judge. All right, big question over here. Okay. Who do you think it's the Yankees more, you or my grandpa? Probably your grandpa. I'm not going to say I hate any certain team, but like any divisional rival, I don't necessarily like a lot. Like the Braves or the, the Fi- or the or the Phillies or the Marlins or the, or the Nationals. Like all of our teams that we play in in our division, those are those are our main like rivalries. But like for the Yankees, to me, I think that like granted, we're I'm competing and winning the game, and when it's go time, it's like all right, we're it's it's me or you and it's gonna be me. But oh, judge, judge. You better than judge. You got more home runs than him. Shows that you're better. We also play a different position. So he's Thanks. he's an outfielder and I'm a first baseman. So I've got to know Aaron a little bit. Great dude. All he makes he makes me like feel really small because he's huge. Really, he's tall than you. Yeah, he's like four inches, so. like four inches tall. Oh. Yeah. No, but he's. Oh, sorry, Aaron. Didn't mean to do that. No, I don't want to start any, anything. But he's a uh, no great, great person, great player, and uh, it, was, it was an honor to be be his record. If you could choose eight players to be in series two, who would you pick? Eight players. Wow. Well, I think uh, there's there's two players that come to the top of my head. Uh, I play against them all the time, but they're absolute superstars. Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. should be, Fernando Tatis Jr. should be, Shohei Otani. Didn't Jay? Jacob? Oh, Jake DeGrom, absolutely. Good, thank you for helping me out. Uh, Trevor Story, I think. Yes. Uh, how about Nolan Arenado? All right. Thank you so much for being here with us. Absolutely. I love to watch you play. Thank you. Thanks for talking baseball with me. Thanks for opening these smells. I love to watch you play, but I love it more when you're hitting dinners. Perfect. I appreciate that. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that a portion of the proceeds of the smalls purchased on culturefly.com, they go to my foundation, Homers for Heroes, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys uh, go online and, and shop now. Thanks for watching. You can find smalls in stores at Walmart, at Target, and at culturefly.com.